Hey everyone, this is Shane with, from SaveOurSkills.com. We're out in the woods today, uh, bringing in some posts. We have to split a few. Uh, I did a blog post on building and mending fences part one, talked about splitting posts. And today we're going to do a YouTube video on how to split posts. So these, these posts, uh, we already cut them, we filled the trees, cut them into seven foot post lengths. And we've already hauled out uh, a lot of the posts. These are just the butts, uh, a lot of the bigger ones that need split. We saved a few of the large ones again for gate posts and for corner brace posts. So we're going to get into splitting these. And today I brought sledge, my double head X, and some wedges. And we're going to start with this wedge. This is called a starter wedge. You can see that the pitch on it is a little bit less than a splitting wedge. So we're going to use this starter wedge and see how these split. So bear with us. Now one thing that you want to do, this already has a natural split to it. And if it's in the center, that's a good thing. We're going to go ahead and try and do that split right there and see how it splits. <clears throat> Looks like it's splitting pretty good. When you're swinging a sledge, a lot of people when I swing it like this, you gotta be, you, you gotta work smarter, not harder. Choke it up by the head, bring it back, slide it forward. All right, so. All right, that one's flipping rather nice. And these are hedge posts or Osage Orange, and you'll notice once we get them split open that they're a bright yellow. this axe and see if we can split it open here. A lot of times also uh, we'll have a chainsaw out here. Unfortunately the chainsaw is broke down right now so we've got a few parts on order so we're doing it with an axe. Sometimes you can just pull them apart. And this isn't one of those times. Now the other thing you can do is drive one of these wedges in the back side. See if that'll split it open some more. There we go. There it is. So, like I said, you can see they're bright orange. That'll make a very nice post now. Whereas before it was a little bit large. And we didn't need any more corner or gate posts. So we're splitting these ones down. Pretty nice post. That's the other thing. We start splitting at the small end. So you want to start at the small end, split back to the large end. Alright, so I'm going to split some more and hope you enjoyed this. And again, like I said in the blog post, you know, contracting a fence guy to install your fence, it's going to cost you 
five dollars a foot or more by me investing the sweat equity into cutting limbing splitting these logs hauling them out of here i'm basically paying for my wire depending on what fence you know what, what type of wire i use it can be as low as 50 cents a foot okay so it's a huge savings but again a lot of investment in sweat equity <clears throat> All right, so I hope you enjoyed the uh, splitting post portion of building and mending fences part one. We're going to go ahead and do a video here in the near future on uh, setting posts in a line in a fence row. Uh, we talk about it on the blog post, setting the corner post and then setting the next corner post. Or if the fence is longer than the next corner post, you want to just go to the end of the string and set a post and then drill holes or dig fence post holes every 10 feet along that line. So we'll record a video on that once we get these down to the field. We're going to be building some fence. Alright, thanks for watching. Tune in to uh, Save Our Skills YouTube channel and check out our blog.